Hello lovely, today I thought I would do my drugstore favourites video because recently I've been really getting into drugstore makeup and I've got a ton of it to show for you guys, to you guys, I don't know what I'm saying, okay. If you would like a high end favourites video, give this video a thumbs up and tell me down below and I shall do that. Especially as all of these things are like under £10 as well, so enjoy before i start with the video i just want to say that i have a new schedule for my videos i'll be uploading twice a week wednesdays and saturday so i will pre-film on the weekends and i'm really really excited and i have some videos already pre-filmed so i'm all ready to go i hope you enjoy this video and there might be some things in here that you've never tried before and i love watching these videos to see what other people like so i can kind of think oh I like that too. So I just have everything in the Zoella beauty bag. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with mascaras. So both of these are actually from Maybelline because Maybelline does the best mascaras. Everyone knows that Maybelline does the best mascaras. Two other mascaras that I also love which I don't currently have to show you guys because I buy new ones of them. The Maybelline Falsies is amazing. And the Rimmel London Great Lash Mascara is amazing. It makes your eyelashes so long. First one is raved about on YouTube. I think it's actually new. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. I got the waterproof one. This is honestly amazing. I also love the wand. It's like this kind of spiky one. The packaging's cute. It's really good. And you don't even have to put a lot on for it to look like you're wearing a lot. And also the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Smoky Eyes Mascara. I can't get some of the packaging off. It's still, still on here. So this has a big brush. And I usually don't really get along with big brushes. But this one just looks like that. It, it's perfect to go with this mascara. And I think they're both £8. And I think they're super good for mascara of this quality to go even cheaper i have something from mua so you've probably heard of my mua if you live in the uk it's like basically the equivalent to elf and i just have these three lipsticks from there i have a few others i have the red one from the mua collection so they have two collections they have the mua matte collection and this is peachy kiss a pretty color i just don't really like how it goes on i just love the color so, and this is just what's on my lips right now but i don't really like the formula of it that well much and the mua lipsticks these are just the classic lipstick ones so we have tulip which is this gorgeous pretty pink color it's so pretty and both of these kind of look like MAC lipsticks as well, and they've got a similar formula to And shade 3. I don't understand why one has a name and one doesn't, but this is just a bright, fuchsia pink colour. The best thing about this co both collections is they come with dupes to MAC. The colours are so similar to the colours for MAC, and you save yourself £14.50 by buying a £1 lipstick. Recently, I've really been getting into my eyeliner. I've been loving this liquid liner by Natural Collection. I've not really tried much of their makeup before because they're really cheap and I didn't think that I'd like them. But I think they're against animal testing and I also think MUA is. It's kind of funny how the cheap brands don't test on animals. I don't understand that because you would have thought it'd be the cheap brands who do, but they don't. So I only wear black liquid liner and really only black and white eyeliners in general. I really like it. It goes on really simply and I'm kind of bad at eyeliner as well, but this is amazing. I don't think you can get natural collection over in America, but I've also been loving the Physicians Formula Eye Definer Felt Tip Eye Marker. It's just like a felt tip eyeliner, which is available in the US. So for primer, I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. There are three of the baby skins out there. There's a Cool Rose and an Apricot one as well as this one. And I was going to get the Cool Rose one, but it didn't say anything about being a primer. This was the only one that did. So I think this is the only primer. The other ones reduce redness and stuff. But this is quite a good primer. It doesn't... I have not seen too much difference to be honest. It's just an instant pore razor as well and it just closes up your pores. I don't know, I don't really have... I have been loving the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This is literally my fifth. I love it. I am 003 Peach Glow and it's, it's 
good. It's great. This is about £4 as well. Super cheap. This is available in the UK, but this is the Baby Lips Lip Gloss. So I just have Life's a Peach, and this is the colour of it. It's kind of a light, light, light pink. It's really pretty. This is amazing. Again, this is American, but this is the Physician's Formula Warm Nude kind of palette thing. The packaging is really cute as well, and... Here are all the colours, so each row is a different thing, and then at the back it comes with a mirror, a eyeshadow brush, a blush brush, and this kind of guide on how to. But it's basically an eyeshadow, an eyeliner, highlight, and a blush set thing. Back to MUA because it's one of my favourite brands. I have the MUA blushes. I have Marshmallow, which is this bright pink fuchsia colour, like it's really, really bright pink. And cupcake, which is just kind of this baked, pinky, peachy colour. Because I've kind of been getting into eyebrows recently, because, girl, these need to be on fleek. I have been loving these palettes. These are the collection eyebrow kits. So I just have brunette and blonde. I am blonde, though. So this just comes with three kind of, and then a mascara and a brush to put it on. Also to do with eyebrows, the MUA eyebrow pencil in blonde because it just has pencil one end and this schoolie brush. <laughs> the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer tops all other concealers. This is amazing. I've literally had this for like not even long and all the packaging's kind of rubbed off because it's been in my makeup bag. I am too cool medium and this is just amazing. I can't go on about it enough if you've never tried it before. Why? Go out and buy it, it's £4. It's Last but not least, I have my favourite foundation, which is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Skin Perfecting Medium Coverage Foundation. Thank you so much for watching and love you guys. Bye!